Hello everyone, this is Kelly and welcome back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel. Today we are talking all about the Honey Bee Stamps House Builder dies. So this is the original House Builder. You can see there that this set includes the base or the frame to your house, plus lots of extras. So first, let's take a look at this one. So like I said, you have that base to your house, which is going uh, to cut out and be the base or the panel for everything that you add on to it. It's got a basic roof and it also has a hinge, so you can make a little card out of your house. It has a layering chimney, some greenery bushes, a front door and the window, has a door handle, it also has a dormer that layers, so you can add different colors there. It's got curtains and a valance, lots of different sizes of little window boxes, some more greenery that you can put into the pot or create a wreath. And there's also two different styles of windows. So there is a window that has those cute little panes in it, and you're gonna be able to cut out what would be the frame of the window and then also the inside, so you can make that into different colors. There's also a basic window that's just a rectangle. Again, you're gonna have that frame and then what's gonna be the inside of the window. So here is a look at just the basic or original house builder all put together. You can see I've cut two of the bases for the house and then a hinge to make that into a little card. I've used all the little pieces in this set to create a sweet little house. Here is an example from one of our design team members. She's used the little picket fence and made little topiaries on the front porch. It's absolutely adorable. Now, I'm going to focus today on the Beach House add-on. This is the newest to our collection, and here is an adorable Beach House. You can see the thatched roof and palm trees and lots of little extras that you can add on to make the perfect Beach House. Now, there is also the Gingerbread House add-on. This is a large stamp set and also has the coordinating dies. You can see there's a different roof there. So th the fun thing about the house builder is once you have that original set, you can mix and match any of the other sets to get the look that you're going for. And you can see this adorable little gingerbread house here. Now there's also a haunted house add-on. You can see again, we've got a different style of roof and all the things that you need to create a super spooky but cute haunted house. Here's an example of the haunted house. You can see the different roof there, chimney, the dormer that's used from the other one, and then those different windows and doors and the cute little ghosts. Now next up is the farmhouse add-on set. This one has a sweet little stamp set. It even has a porch swing, a wreath, some hanging baskets to hang on your porch. And here is an example of a sweet little farmhouse. Again, some of those pieces are mixed and matched, but they all start off with that original house builder die set. Then we have our treat shop. You can see lots of stamps included in this one. Again, there's a different roof and lots of little things that you uh, can make and create the perfect treat shop. I just love this one here. I would love to sit there in that little table and have a little ice cream. Okay, so like I said, today's video is going to be using that original set because that's the base or the start of everything. And then I'm focusing more on our Beach House add-on because that was just released in our Hello Summer release. So you can see we have lots of cute little detail images like a wind chime, a little lifesaver, but there's also some solids in this one. So lots of fun to blend your inks right onto the stamp. And then there's lots of extra dies in this die set. So you can create layering palm trees and different plants and things. And it's just so much fun to play with. So here I have stamped in some Copic Safe ink. You can see there to the left. That's all those detailed images. And I've just done some basic Copic coloring. You can also see the great little words and sentiments added on there. And then now I'm taking all the solid images and I am ink blending directly onto those solid stamps. So I get a mix of colors right there on my palms and grasses. And those are going to be so cute when added to the little pots and things to go on the front porch of my beach house. So I'm quickly getting all these stamped on. I'm using little finger daubers to kind of add on and smooth on the ink. And you can see what a great blend that gives. 
Now, once I have everything stamped and colored, and then those uh, plants and grasses there on the side, all ink blended, now it's time to take that large die set and get everything cut out. So I am just taking the dies and a little bit of purple tape. You can use whatever you'd like, whether you have washi tape or anything like that. And I am using the cutouts in those dies to kind of eyeball that and make sure everything is lined up before running that through my die machine. Now you can see here I have all my die cuts kind of organized and separated out. There towards the bottom of your screen, you can see I have all the pieces to actually build the house. And then I've got all the little accessories to add on to make the perfect beach house. Now I'm going to get started today and we're going to build the house first. And like I said, some of these pieces are from that original house builder die set. And then a lot of the accessories are from the beach house add-on. So I have cut two pieces of that gorgeous turquoise cardstock and that is what's going to form my card. I have the hinge here and you can see that embossed line right in the center. So I'm just going to kind of bend that with my fingers and get that fold started. And then I'm going to squish it down and make sure that it is nice and squeezed together. And then that is going to be the hinge to create our little house card. You can see that they're all folded up and that's going to fit perfectly right there at the top of the roof of the house to make a card. Now I have used some of our pattern paper. I love this wood grain design. And that is going to go on the top of one of those turquoise pieces. And that's going to give the look of siding on my house. You can see this great roof here that I have that looks thatched. It embosses those cute little details right there into the die cut when you run that through your die machine. I'm going to take a little bit of score tape because I love the way that score tape holds everything together uh, nice and firm. You're not going to have to worry about anything coming apart. I'm going to use a pen knife and just pull away the backing. And then once I get all of this glued down, I'm not going to be worried about um, anything shifting around because I know that score tape is going to hold my card in place and then I can build everything right on top of it. So first off, I'm going to take one of those house frames and I'm going to get it stuck down, kind of lining up the top of the house with the fold in the hinge. And I'm going to pat that right down into that score tape. I'm going to fold everything over and then I'm going to line up all the pieces of my house because I don't want it to be shifted. I want everything to line up nicely. So when the card is closed, you can't see the back piece underneath. So I'm kind of folding that hinge in underneath. And when everything kind of feels lined up in my fingers, I'm just going to squish it down. Make sure everything is stuck down nicely. I'm going to run my fingers right over that hinge to make sure that the score tape is secured nicely and then my card base is ready to go. I'm going to take a little bit of the Honey Bee Stamps Precision Glue and run that on the back of my pattern paper. And remember this has that awesome wood grain design so that's going to act as kind of the fun beachy siding for the front of my house and I'm going to adhere that right onto the front of one of those panels. Once I get everything stuck down, I can then take that cute little roof and that is included in the beach house add-on set. There is a very simple roof in the original set, but I love this kind of thatched design. I love the way that the little twigs and the dimension are embossed when you run that through your die machine. So again, I'm adding my liquid adhesive, and I love liquid adhesive for some parts of this because it gives you a little bit of time to get everything shimmied around and right in place. Okay, now once I have my cute little thatched roof all in place and it's adhered down nicely, now is the fun part where I get to start decorating the front of my beach house. Now I'm going to take a finger dauber and add a little bit of color onto my front door because I didn't want it to be 
um, so harsh against that fun kind of wood grain background. I wanted it to look a little distressed and beachy. Now this door is from the farmhouse die set. So that's what's so fun about these is you can mix and match. Here are the little front steps. The front steps are from the original house builder die set. So these are so much fun. Once you have that original set, then you can purchase any of the add-on sets and just mix and match as you like. I love that. I love to be able to mix and match all my supplies to get a different look. So first thing I'm going to do is add those steps on because I realized I needed to do that before I place my cute little door on top of those steps. So I'm, again, I'm using some of our Honeybee Stamps liquid glue because that gives me just a little bit of time to kind of shimmy everything around before it is set. I'm going to add my door right there on top. Now I'm going to start on the windows. Now the windows are again from the original house builder set. And again, I'm to that turquoise cardstock, I'm gonna take that finger dauber and just add that on so it looks a little weathered and distressed. I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then you can see how I have used the dies to cut the what would be the inside or the, the glass or what's seen into the inside of the house. I'm taking a little bit of ink on one of my blending brushes and I'm just blending on some really light blue ink just to the top portion of that um, glass or window and it just gives it a little bit of color so it is not that stark white behind my kind of distressed cardstock that I have going on. You can see how nicely that Honeybee Stamps Precision Glue Pen gets right into those small spaces there on the window frames. And I'm gonna add that right over the top of that white cardstock. And I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of shimmy everything around and I can feel when everything's lined up and then make sure everything is adhered. I'm gonna do that to the second window. Again, just use my liquid glue it's so easy just to get a really precise line of glue right there on the back of that window frame. Again, I'm going to use my fingers just to kind of shimmy everything around. And now my sweet little windows that are from that original house builder set are ready to be adhered onto the front of my beach house. So I'm just going to eyeball these. I'm kind of lining them up with the lines in that wood grain pattern paper to get them kind of straight. Make sure everything is adhered down nicely and then I can add the second window. And again, I'm using that line in the pattern paper just to kind of line everything up. And you can see how cute this is starting out. So I've got my basic house built now. I'm gonna add yellow shutters. Now the shutters are from the gingerbread add-on set. So I have those cut out of yellow paper. Again, I'm using my liquid adhesive and I'm going to add four yellow shutters to my cute little beachy house. And then once I get my shutters adhered, now I can really start playing with those super cute accessories. So I have created what would be kind of a grapevine wreath here out of some craft cardstock. And this wreath is cut with a die from the original house builder set. I'm going to adhere that on to the center of the front door. And then you can see the little green leaves I have there. That's also from the original house builder set. I'm going to adhere those onto my wreath on the front door. And then you can see the white die cuts. They're turned over upside down. Those are seashells from the beach house add-on set. Those were stamped and die cut. I did a little bit of Copic coloring on the front and that is going to finish off my wreath. And you can see how cute those leaves are. They give that little wreath a little bit of texture and dimension and something different. It looks like a wreath that I would put on my own front door. Now I'm gonna adhere the little starfish first that I've done kind of in corally pinks. And I have another little seashell kind of in a yellow. It's gonna be perfect to pull in the colors from the shutters. 
And then again, another little starfish that I'm just going to tuck right back in there. And then that kind of finishes off the wreath. And you can see how well all those products kind of mix and match from the different stamp and die sets. Okay, now I've started adding a lot of those little accessories onto the front of my house. I've added that cute little colored bicycle. The wind chime is hanging from my thatched roof there. I've added some of the green palms that we ink blended. I added that into one of the pots. I added one of the grasses into the pots. And now I'm using some of my liquid glue and I've added my cute little surfboard and the oar. Now I have a beach ball that I'm kind of stacking up. And what is so fun about these house builder die sets is you can add as many die cuts and as many accessories you want or as little as you want. It's just whatever your heart desires. That's what's so fun. There's just so many options. And of course, on the front of this A2 size card, I'm not going to be able to fit every single die cut and every single item from the beach house, but I'm going to give you a look at how you can make different things work. So like I said, that house that is built with that original die set, that is A2 size. So that is going to fit down in one of your A2 size envelopes. If you wanted to make a larger design, let's say a five by seven card, because you wanna add maybe your cute little beachy fence and gate and your palm trees, you're just gonna to have to make a different size card in order to fit what you're going for for your different types of houses. So you can see here, I've got all my die cuts. You can see how the palms um, adhere together. You can layer those leaves on. There's uh, different styles of leaves. You can layer those onto your palm. They're also really fun to add those as different kind of plants into the yard of your little beach house. And I'll show you a look at that later. There's a couple of different signs. So there's one that is stamped and die cut and then one that is just die cut from pattern paper. There are cute little birds or seagulls that you can have flying across your design. Now here's where I'm gonna take kind of a larger uh, card. This is five by seven. So if you wanted to build a house and not make that house into a card but add it onto the front of a five by seven card, this is the size or this is what it would look like. You could totally do some ink blending behind there and add some clouds with your stencils. You can add sand, whatever you would like. I'm gonna show you how cute these little palm trees are when you layer the leaves. And I'm just kind of sporadically um, adding the leaves. I'm not lining them up with the uh, darker cardstock that's underneath. I kind of want to give that some dimension and some texture there. So I'm using my liquid adhesive and just kind of placing them here and there. Now to cover up the little area where I have glued on the tips of those leaves and they're just kind of hanging out there in the center, I'm going to take the dies that are included in that beach house add-on set. There are dies that cut out the little coconuts. So I'm going to add three little coconuts over the top there and then that's going to finish off and kind of hide where I have added on the lighter green leaves. Okay, now after I have added all of my little coconuts onto my palm tree, and there are two different palm trees in that die set, by the way. So there's one that's going to kind of tilt off to the left, like I'm showing there, and there's one that's going to go off to the right as well. So after I've added those coconuts, I'm gonna add that back behind my house. Now you can have those leaves hanging off of your card or you could snip them off. You can see I've added that cute little beachy fence that looks like kind of a driftwood look that's all kind of pinned together to make a funny wonky fence. There's also great little greetings in the set as well. So you have waving hello. This way to the beach would make a perfect little sign to go in front of your house that points the direction to the beach. So you can use those die cuts or you could stamp that directly onto the little board there. There's also open, welcome, and tiki bar. So lots of fun with those. And also you can see the little birds up there in the corner. 
So here is that kind of laid out on a five by seven card. So you can get a look. Here it is on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. You can see I've done this whole little beachy scene and I've used everything in that die set. Pieces of fence, you can see my wonky little gate there to the side, my bicycle, this way to the beach, my little birds and two different palm trees. And I've used the layering leaves from those palms and made the little plants there on the side of the house. So lots of different ways and lots of different options to build the perfect beach house. Okay, so here are all of the houses kind of put together here. Here is that original house. So that is the die set you're gonna start out with is the original. There's the haunted house. Here I've done a two-story treat shop. You can see that is a large card. There's also the beach house that we created today, but everything starts with the original house builder set. Once you have that, you can do any of the add-on sets and mix and match the roofs and the windows and the doors. You can just add and create um, anything as possible with these. That's what is so fun. Here's one more little close-up look at that beach house that we just created today. And again, once you have that original house builder set, the sky's the limit. You can create anything you'd like. Make sure you check out all these products and more at honeybeestamps.com.